Hello, 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 and welcome with Cooking with Camille. This is your girl, Camille. Uh, I started not to come on today because I hit, I hurt my hand, and y'all, I hurt it again. I hit it again. You know, when you hit the same sore hand, it, it just hurt, and I didn't feel like cooking nothing, but we're going to finish my dinner because I had put it on this morning. I cooked some ribs on the grill, and I've got them in the oven now. We're going to have some ribs. I'm going to do some baked chicken. Um... And I'm going to do some uh, cheesy hash browns. And I took some greens out the freezer because I wasn't doing all this because I hurt my finger. So I was going to make some stir fry, but we'll probably do the stir fry Tuesday. Okay, let's uh, get started. I'm putting the ribs in and a, a chicken. Just do your regular. Season your chicken the way you want. So I had some greens in the freezer with some turkey tails. I had a little bit left. So that's what I'm going to do. There's my ribs. I'm going to put them back in the oven. I uh, seasoned with a little more brown sugar and some, uh, I already had them seasoned when I put them on the grill. It's just enough for my husband because you know I don't do ribs. Okay, and then we're going to make, I'm going to make some baked chicken for me. Okay, and the chicken. Okay, with the ribs, I used uh, brown sugar and I used this Memphis, Memphis style barbecue seasoning and a little garlic powder and a little onion powder. That's what I used on that. And on my chicken, I used, um. Uh, Robert's Ivan's uh, Chef Barbecue Spices, and I use Chef Carmen's Onion Garlic Pepper, and I use Chef Carmen's uh, Seasoned Blend with no salt, and I use her, also her Italian uh, Seasoning Blend. Y'all know I love Italian seasoning. Okay, those are the seasons we used on the chicken and the ribs. Okay, and I... Um, <clears throat> Sprinkle a little bit of uh, pepper on my chicken. Forgot about the pepper. I wasn't going to make it too hot. He said I had the food too hot yesterday. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to throw this in the oven for an hour. Okay. I got my greens on. They're already seasoned, so I ain't got to do nothing because I took them out the freezer. So they're already seasoned. So all I got to do is just warm them up. Okay. And this one we're going to do. I hate when you're looking for a pot and you can't find it. Don't that just burn you up? Where is all my pots? I don't, especially my saucepans. My saucepans, the big ones, I don't know where the heck they are. I must have thrown them away when we moved. Because I can't find none of them but little ones. So this is why we're going to do our uh, cheesy sauce. I'm going to make some cheese sauce for our cheesy potatoes. So we're going to use a, a can of evaporated milk. Uh, or carnation milk, whatever you got. We're going to use that and a little little milk. Okay, we're going to mix it half and half. This is going to be the cheese sauce that we're making for our uh, cheesy potatoes. I'm going to do half evaporated and half uh, milk. Okay. Okay, while we're doing that, why is the phone always ringing when I'm doing this show? Well, anyway, they'll wait. Then um, we're going to cut up our cheese. I got some Kobe and Kobe Jack. I'm going to cut that up into my cheese sauce. And make sure when you cut it up, you constantly keep stirring it so it don't stick. You don't want it to stick. Let me uh, see what other cheeses I can find. Okay, you can grate your cheese. I got some white cheddar here. Or you can just cut it up and it's going to automatically melt. Cut them up in cubes or slices, however you want to do it. I'm going to do my yellow cheddar and my white cheddar like this until it all melts to make your cheese sauce. You can just break it up however you want. Or you can grate it. Grate it or melt it faster if you do grate it. So I'm going to continue to do this. With the yellow and the white one, okay? Then I'm going to do the yellow one the same way. This one's a little softer because I left it out. And the other one was still in the refrigerator. But you're going to do both of them. And then you can add the shredded cheese with it. Or you can add the shredded cheese when we get the uh, <clears throat> shredded potatoes and mix them in. Either way, I'm going to do it both ways, okay? I'm going to cut this all up and then I'm going to... 
stir it constantly stir it you also want to keep it on low not too high because you want it to melt slowly and mash it down till it's all gone till it's all melted not gone <laughs> okay then i got some country shredded hash browns we're gonna get a casserole dish and we'll spray it real good it won't stick Very real good and set it to the side because once this cheese melted in the pie then we're gonna uh add our hash browns to it or you can add your hash browns to your casserole dish your casserole dish and then add cheese to it so we're just going to keep stirring it till it melts now with your hash browns you want to add some salt and pepper with seasoning you can add green peppers to it, red peppers to it if you want. Uh, I think I'm just going to make them cheesy. Uh, cheesy. Uh, no peppers to them. Save my peppers for another day. But you can do that for color, but we got the green, so we don't need all that. And then just stir it up. Mix it well. Where it's all mixed well. The salt is mixed in. You don't want to add too much salt because your cheese is salty, okay? Okay, while this is melting, you're going to add, these are teaspoons. I'm going to add, say, like uh, two tablespoons of sour cream to your uh, cheese mixture. I'm going to empty this. It's almost empty. I'm going to just finish it off of sour cream to your cheese mix, okay? And then keep continue to stir. Okay. That sour cream is going to make it really, really creamy. You can also add a can of chicken soup or a can of celery soup to it. But I'm just going to do the cheese to make it more creamier and have a chicken flavor. If you like. See, it's starting to melt real good now. And then we're going to pour that over it. Once it's finished melting, I have some cheese slices I want to get rid of, so I'm just going to add it in my um, potatoes. It'll melt when we bake it. Uh, some Kobe Jack cheese, and I got some provolone. Try to get rid of it before it starts getting hard. That's how you can get rid of your cheeses, too. Okay, and I'm going to save some for the top. Okay, and we're going to stir this up again. It's pretty much almost done. Okay, then you just pour that cheese sauce over your potatoes. Mix your cheese with it. Whatever you have. I'm going to put some sprinkled cheese in here too. I got some uh, to make it more cheesier. I'm going to add, um, I got some Monterey Jack. Or, um, I think, you know what, I got some Kobe Jack. I think I'm going to use a Kobe Jack instead of Monterey Jack. Because we got the cheddar, it's called Double it's called double cheddar double cheddar cheese right here it's got shredders uh mild and sharp sharp cheddar cheese that's what i'm going to use because it's got more yellow in it because i don't want the potatoes to just be all white i want some yellow in there too okay so we're going to sprinkle some uh sprinkles in there like so on half of the bag because you already got cheese in there it's going to be Cheese is just like almost like you do macaroni and cheese almost. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm going to put, I got some slices left. And I'm going to throw the slices on top. Like so. And then we're going to bake it till it's done. Uh, about 45 to an hour. Uh, until it's Nice and done. We're going to put some paprika on top of it to turn it brown. And there's our cheesy hash browns. Just a little. You don't want to do too much. Okay? And we'll throw that in. Okay, I'm going to clean up a little bit and going to make our cornbread muffins. Okay, I got the cornbread ready. I just made six little mini muffins. I'm going to make me some coffee. While we wait for everything else, okay? I have made a pot of coffee. Maxwell House, y'all. 
Y'all want a cup of coffee? I know it's too late, but I need to have my coffee in the morning. I need to take my medicine. So we'll be back. Potatoes looking good, y'all. Look at that. We're going to put the cornbread in there and dinner will be ready. Take the ribs out, add some barbecue sauce to them. Uh, and then put it back in the oven for about 15 minutes. Look at those potatoes, y'all. Okay, let's plate up the plate. Okay, here we go. Y'all, I got some collard greens with turkey tails, some ribs, some cheesy potatoes, baked chicken, cornbread, the spice cake I made the other day, put a little icing on it, tomatoes, peppers, and onions. Sunday meal for a great day. Y'all, better ask somebody, because girl, I know. Okay, I know. Okay. Mmm. I'm tasting the potatoes. Mmm. Y'all, these cheesy potatoes. Y'all, <clears throat> have some. Mmm. Mmm. Let me show the ribs. Hold on. Show you how tender they are. I'm going to take it. See it? Look. It's just falling apart. Look, 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 look. This just falling apart. Look, just falling apart. I can't eat them, but look, just falling apart. Oh my goodness. All right. Again, let me get on my phone. Hold on. Collard greens <clears throat> with mustards. They got mustards in them with turkey tails, tomatoes, onions, and peppers, spare ribs. Baked chicken, cheesy potatoes, cornbread, and spicy cake. Spicy pound cake, not pound cake, spicy butter cake. Okay? Y'all have a blessed day. God bless you. And don't forget to comment. Comment and enter. Comment and please subscribe. I ask that you subscribe, like, and share, and comment. Tell me what you think. All right, God bless y'all. Have a good day.